we'll answer a question from chemical kinetics dealing with uh, electrons. Okay, so the retro for the reaction has been given to be that. Okay, so how would the rate change if the concentration is reduced to one third of its original value? And then also, how should the concentration be changed in order to double the rate? And then finally, how would the rate change if the concentration is raised to three fourths of its original value? Okay, so for the first one, uh, let's take our rate to be just R is equal to K and then C2O, of course, squared. That's a retro. Now, for the first one, how would the rate change? How is the rate changing if we reduce the concentration to one fade of the original value? So, I'll take my new rate to be R2, the new rate. So it's going to be dependent on the same electro, K. Okay. Now what is changing is the concentration. How is it changing? It's changing to one fade of the original value, which is C2O. Initially, in this case, we've not been given the numerical value. So we'll just use the value we've been given, which is C2O, reducing to its fade. So that's over 3. Don't forget, in the retro, we've got the power 2. So our R2 reduces to K. The top part remains the same, C2O raised to the power 2 because that's, and then 3 to the power 2 will be now 9. So the easiest way of answering these questions is by making sure that you maintain the right hand side. Okay, so the only thing that is making it to be different is the 9 that we have. Okay. If you can clearly observe, the top part is equal to the retro itself, right? So you can pull out the 9, pull it out as 1 over 9, and then get back the rate there, since you know that the top part is equal to the rate. So, rate. So therefore, the question was asking, how would the rate change if the construction is used to one fade? So the rate would change to... 1 over 9 of the initial rate. So this is the answer. Okay. For the second one, how should the concentration be changed in order to double the rate? So all the same, we'll pull back our equation. R is equal to K. Now we we'll let the we'll rate X to denote the new concentration. So it will be X squared. Okay, this is x denoting the new concentration that they want us to find, right? Now we know that the actual rate itself is k and then c2o the power 2. So we equate the two now. So k is common. <coughs> K is common. So let me not forget that uh, it was saying to double the rate. So the rate is supposed to be twice the initial one in order to double the rate. So the rate should be twice. So don't forget that. I omitted the two there. So if we're trying to find the new concentration, which is now denoted by X, we need to find the square root on both sides. So don't forget we have two and then we have the concentration there. Okay, so if you try to find the square root on both sides, the root will just remain on the 2, because the square root of this, since there's a 2 there, it is going to cancel out. So this now on the left denotes how the concentration should be changed in order to double the rate. So summary of what we've done, to double the rate, it means the rate that we had will be twice. And then we got a new variable to denote the new rate that they want us to find, which is now, of course, don't forget we are just getting it from the retro itself. So, okay. And then x to denote the concentration. So, x squared. And then we now substitute the value of the rate itself, r, which is k. 
and then C2O squared, right? Is equal to KX squared. And then you cancel out the K since it's common. And then find the square root on both sides to find the value of x, which gave us root of 2, and then C2O. So that's a new concentration if we are to double the rate. And then finally, <coughs> how would the rate change if the concentration is raised to threefold, threefold, so three times? So our rate, R is equal to K. Now we are raising the concentration to threefold. So what we have inside there is going to be th three times. Okay. Of course, raise the power two. So, of course, take the R two to be the new rate. So R two becomes equal to k, and then after squaring, you have now nine C two O. So the 3 will become 9, the concentration will still be the power 2 after distributing the square. So pull out the 9. So if you pull out the 9, what remain will just be k and then c2 or raised to the power 2, which you of course know this is equivalent to the initial literal that we add. So you can just put your rate there. So the question says how would the rate change? So it would be nine times. Nine times the initial rate. Okay. So this is basically how you approach these questions. Just put whatever you've been given into a mathematical expression and just make sure you get to find where to substitute the initial rate that you had, let's to find an expression for the new rate.